What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here with a bonus Let's Build. Uh, I'm here in Sanctuary, not the Egret Tours Marina. And um, I hope you guys all know where Sanctuary is. You do know that it's like the first place you start. I mean, I'll bring up the map. You know, here it is. You know, here's the vault where you come out. But this is where you started before the war. If you don't know where Sanctuary is, where the hell have you been? Anyway, <laughs> okay, so um, I'm here in Sanctuary, and I had an idea, and I know that it's been kicked around many times before. I've seen all kinds of stuff on YouTube about uh, different ways of making caps, and I have created, well, I haven't created, I just decided to put together a way here in Sanctuary. Sanctuary is a large settlement, as far as like the coverage area for the settlement, the edges, the perimeter, the area, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I think that I could put easily 10 vendors in Sanctuary without it looking like I just have a big-ass row of vendors. You know, scatter them all over the place. And then I want to come in and I want to use, um, let's see, oh, Cap Collector. I can't get there yet because I'm not level 41. But you can invest in my other playthrough that, well, we won't talk about that. Um, you invest 500 caps in a vendor, and I believe it is any vendor i know for a fact that the traveling vendors from bunker hill it will work on because i was talking with the uh, doc weathers i think his name is and i saw it when i was you know trying to barter with him and stuff in the lower right hand corner it said invest it was grayed out kind of like the rb next rank button is now on my screen but uh but yeah the possibility for investing in the traveling vendors is real as well so with the third rank of cap collector, um, you can bump them up from three or four or five hundred caps that they normally have to like a thousand or more. I've seen twelve fifty or something like that. It was somewhere in the twelve hundreds, and I don't remember which vendor it was. But uh, so if you had ten vendors with a thousand caps apiece, and you could sell them a bunch of stuff that you could get without actually doing any work, wouldn't that be? I mean, that's ten thousand caps every. 48 hours. Now, I don't know that you could actually generate enough purified water every 48 hours. I don't know what the cycle is for purified water, but that's my plan. I have built this big ass water production facility. Well, I built a wall around the water production facility. Now, let me tell you, putting this much junk fence in uh, row after row after row and falling off all these damn shack foundation piers was a pain in the ass. But I want to protect this place. Not like the rest of the town. I haven't even put up a front gate. But uh, I want to protect my water uh, my water production facility. There we go. And Codsworth is going to try and come over here and visit with me. He's going to go jump off the bridge until I, unless I stop him. So I better do that. I saw him making a run for it. So I'm going to build a guard tower here uh, that has some pretty cool features. We're going to, we're going to have a little fun with math, boys and girls. That's what we're going to do. Keep in mind, this is the third time I built this? Yeah, I screwed up. Well, the first time I built it, I was just playing the game. I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, I should be recording this so I can share it with everybody. Yeah. Let's see how well that worked. Let's lower this bad boy down a little bit. Oh yeah, it was way too high. So we want to get this close, but not too close. And we want to make sure that it's even. See, that that doesn't look quite even. Come on now. There we go. How are we looking here? Looking good. Now let's test this theory without running into all these junk fences. Let's see how it looks on this side. Get the center one out of the way. Looking good. All right. So, now what we need to do is we need to build up a floor. And what we would normally do is grab one of these. We've, we've all seen it. If you watched any of my videos, especially fixing the roofs in Sanctuary, uh, you've seen where I've done this technique. And Some people are going to be like, oh, but it's floating. I don't want to see it floating. Well, if you don't want to see it floating, the answer is really simple. Click and let go. Now they're not floating anymore. It's that simple. Uh, we're actually going to take that out in just a second. I need to put an upper shack floor up here. 
I needed the height so that I could put a wall here. So we'll go ahead and snap this wall into place. Pull this foundation out. And then I can snap this wall to that wall. And then over here, we're going to come all the way down to the far end. Why they put these at the opposite ends, I don't know. But there it is. That's kind of like the, the wo all wood version of this one. And we're going to leave that in place. We're going to need that. But before we go putting the piers back in place, we're going to grab some railing. Because we like railing. Keeps us from falling down, which I tend to do a lot. All right, so let's uh, snap. No, not there. There. And then we'll come over and put this last wall here. No, we're not putting the piers up there yet. We are going to place more piers, just not up on the second floor. So we'll snap. Come on. That in place. We'll put one here. We'll put the second one. We'll put one here. And yes, I know that what I'm doing is kind of redundant. You bastard, get. Thank you. I know what I'm doing is kind of redundant because, you know, we're building a bridge across the top of here. They don't need stairs on both sides, but I like the symmetry of it. Leave me alone. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. We'll put this one here. And if you guys notice what I did to split these two, I put the small floor over there like I'm doing there. And then I'm snapping actually to the small floor because I don't need that when I'm done. So now let's grab our small stairs. That, oh, look at that. Like a glove. Right, put that one there. And of course, because this makes the bend, that's why the stairs aren't even. Even though they're even with each other, they just don't look even because of the flooring. All right, so that is all taken care of. And now I need to put in our upper decks here. Put this one down up there. Up there. And then grab our stairs. That I did it like a sideways jump because I'm a ninja. Oh no, wait, no, I'm a wizard. Apparently, jeez, come on. All right, so we got those in place, and before we go putting all the railing and all this stuff, let's come up to the top because this is where fun with geometry comes into place. All right. Oh no, I didn't want to put that one there. I, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. We just want the regular old shack floor. Did I... I swear my my controller's dying on me. Alright, put that one there. Now here, it doesn't want to snap in. So if you ever, ever run into this problem, a little pro tip for you, switch to the thinner floor. That one there is a little bit thinner and so it works out well. I'm going to spin this. I'm going to need that spun around just a second. Again, switch to the thinner floor and we'll have to do the same thing over here as well. All right, so are those the planks? No, I want... These are all temporary. What we just put down is all temporary. But I need these planks running this direction because we're going to use them right now. And I need to be over here to do that. So we're going to grab our regular old shack floor and we're going to put it in this... You have to do this whole stupid stare down technique. Which is a royal pain in the ass. But essentially, I'll put it there real quick. I want it in that corner, but I want these. Oh, damn! That was pretty damn close. I want this. It's gonna. I'm gonna shift it back a little bit. I want it. See the 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 gaps between the planks. I want it in the third gap, but I don't want it at the front of the third gap. I want it closer to the back of the third gap. So let's see. If we can. Now I gotta do the stupid stare down technique. This is such stupid shit. Really? Thank you. Uh, just a hair more. Is it too many hairs? I think it was. It was like a brown hair. Or just like a blonde hair. Alright, that's good there. Alright. Now we'll come over here and we'll drop this one in place. Stupid stir down technique. I mean, I'm glad it works, but it shouldn't have to. 
while way off there. And I shouldn't have to stare at my feet to make this shit happen. Oh yeah, perfect. And you also notice that you're right at this back edge pretty close. All right, so now that those are in place, we're gonna go ahead and put these spacer units here so that we can pull these out of the way. Now here's the real bitch. And I say that because it is. It is a royal pain in the ass. We have to get an upper shack floor. Now if this goes in first time, I'm gonna be pissed. Like I said, I've done this multiple times and it never goes in. So at least, uh, at least I'm, nothing has changed. So we're gonna come back here. We're gonna have to extend this. Let's see, how far is it? I'm gonna say a little bit uh, right there. Okay, now if I've done this correctly, if I take three of these, <laughs> it will line up perfectly there. See how that worked? All right, and actually we're, we need our, our spacers out here as well. So now we can get rid of all this. Damn, that went a whole lot better than the first few times. All right, so now we're gonna put these single little shack floors in here. And then we're gonna snap these to this. If you kinda knows, it's kind of like what I did with the 12-sided uh, the uh, guard tower, just a little bit, except we're not building anything that massive. We can get rid of all that stuff. Matter of fact, we can get rid of all this extra stuff that we put into place because we don't need it anymore. Alright. See? Isn't it pretty? We're going to leave this one here so we don't fall down. It's pretty. It's going to be like a little arch. Alright. Now, we want some railing. And you're like, Vic, why are you putting down all the same railing? You never do that. Oh, but I do. In one instance. Well, two instances. When I'm putting in vendor stalls, uh, that is certainly the case. Um, and also when I'm putting in guard posts. Matter of fact, we're going to squeeze three in here. Here's the magic, boys and girls. No, it's nothing magical. It's just perfect, perfect calculation. I mean, look at that. Isn't it glorious? You know it's glorious. Say it! It's glorious! Come on. I know you go there. There. Actually, that one can scoot. That one can just rotate a little bit and then scoot forward and back. Just a hair. And over. There it is. Oh, come on. See how tight that is? <laughs> it is so close. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like they've been built all together. They're all just meshed together. These are perfect. God! All right. Oh. I guess we should probably finish out the railing up here and get rid of this floor and stuff like that. So let's get rid of the floor and we'll come in here and we'll throw up some railing. And now we don't want that one. We'll go something like that over here. Maybe this one over here. And that one there. That one there. And uh, for the middle here, oh yeah, we'll use the big one! Yeah! I love using this double rail. People tell me that there's no practical place for it. Look at that, it fit perfect. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm always teasing. All right, so let's finish up this rail here. And uh, so I walk up the stairs and then almost fall down the water. Put this one there, and there. What do we have over here? Oh, okay, I can put that one there. All right, all that railing is done. Hop down here. That one should squeeze perfectly under there. Come on. No. Uh, no. Actually, I don't like that one there. Oh, shit, where'd I go? There it is. That's a little bit better. Yeah, it's we're dealing with five boards and only having four boards. But that's all right. We'll make it work, right? Because that's what we do.
And there we go. All right. So since we're going to be having a bunch of water purifiers, and don't worry, no, I'm not going to stack them in here like cordwood. Still want it to look, you know, like we had to scrap stuff together. I don't want it to look like it's a production. Well, it is going to be a production facility of purified water, but I don't want it to look like, hey, look at that. We brought in a team of contractors and we're able to throw down 50 large water purifiers. Um... Okay, I'm going to finish wiring this up, but before I do that, uh, Davey did something gorgeous in his uh, green, uh, green Top Nursery tour. If you guys haven't seen it, you really need to go see it. But I come up, I came up with something a little bit different. He used fence posts uh, and put lights on them, and I thought it was brilliant. So, But I didn't want to exactly just take what he was doing. So, and these are a royal pain in the ass, let me tell you. Find you your sweet spot, and it's, it's a very small sweet spot on these small pylons. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to place that light twice. Because, stop climbing up the stairs. Because as soon as you rug glitch this thing, that light's going to pop off. But that light, now that we know where the spot is... You know, if we want it, because I want, I'm going to put it right there in the corner. I can put this on the rug. Like so. So then I can grab the rug. And position it. And glitch it right into this corner here. Where you don't even really notice it. But, I, but the light is where I want it. As far as the angle and stuff like that. Right? That's beautiful. But as soon as I take these freaking rugs out. That light came off. So then you gotta come in here and you gotta do it again. Come on, light. Okay, there it is. Move it on up. And and it won't let you go all the way to the top. But right there. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get the rest of this wired up and then I will be back with a tour in just a second. I think I'm just gonna do a nighttime tour so you guys can see it lit up. I mean you you've seen Essentially, it all built. I mean, yeah, I'm just doing it for, for lighting and aesthetics. All right, so I'll be back in just a second. All right, Wastelanders, I'm going to give you guys a quick little montage of wiring and lighting while I'm putting this all together. Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and click the like button down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, click on the subscribe button and make sure to follow me for a lot more great content coming up. And check out the other videos that I have posted. Uh, join me on Twitter. We have great, funny, hilarious conversations on Twitter. Uh, at And my Twitter handle is at Draco underscore Invictus. And you can also join me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Draco Invictus. And until next time, Wastelanders, take care of yourselves out there. Enjoy the tour. This is Draco Invictus saying, see ya.